think one of the biggest accomplishments of the collaborative network and something we really value is bringing together people that might not have come together otherwise to think about the best way to manage marine protected areas. Bringing the tribes together with agency and enforcement officers, with environmental nonprofits, bringing them together with the fishermen, and bringing the scientists too that can share their perspective. Having all those people at the table and having them feel like their voices are heard and that their voices are valued, you know, that is a huge asset that really can't be replicated anywhere else. It needs to be channeled and, and harnessed and leveraged in a way that can really help fish and wildlife do the best job they can. I think we all are very, very concerned about the ocean condition. I mean, this is our livelihood. This is what we do for a living. And we certainly do not want to see any damage done to the ocean in any way. There's a way to work around this stuff. Everybody needs a little bit, you know, we need to give and take. One of the problems we have historically with resource management is that people tend to work in their own little silo. The scientists work on the research and monitoring, enforcement officers just do enforcement, the nonprofits are working on the conservation side, and the fishermen are making a living. And I think it's really important connecting them to the managing agency so they're not all on their own doing separate, disparate things, but they're coming together with the managing agency, doing something that's approved, that can actually be supportive. So there's this top-down, bottom-up where we come together and make very valuable products, we make valuable relationships, and we're actually able to leverage not just the natural resources, but the social resources and the value they bring to the table as well. We want to make sure that they're not paper parks, of course. We want to manage them for the long term. And part of that effort is making sure that we really start enabling communities to become stewards of their MPAs and hopefully that spreads beyond the coast and becomes a part of, of who we are, our coastal stewards. Thank you.